About 38 million metric tons of the sargassum seaweed, a brown prickly algae, has been smothering Caribbean shorelines over the last month. That's 16 million tons more than the previous record amount. It's been damaging tourism, killing wildlife and even releasing toxic gases that forced a school on the French Caribbean island of Martinique to close briefly. Jose Rodriguez is a Puerto Rican fisherman. He says business has been hit hard. The sargassum is a very bad thing for fishermen. You can't fish properly because everything comes out full of sargassum, which is very strong. The sargassum reaches the shores. Throwing the nets also doesn't work. The fishermen that fish with nets get full of sargassum, and this is a problem because the fish leave the area. As well as keeping holidaymakers away, the dark seaweed stops sunlight from reaching coral reefs. Experts say that runoff from agricultural land, warming waters, changes in winds, the currents and rainfall amounts could all be factors. It's an active area of study, actually. We don't have a really clear example of what is causing this specific uh, massive bloom. Uh, but generally, any time you have, for just like for any plant species, any time you have the seed population, the right nutrients, the right light environment, the right temperatures, you have conditions that are right for explosive growth. And that's what we're seeing right now. Uh, in the context of climate change, you know, it's not necessarily a one-to-one -one for warmer temperatures will yield more sargassum. Just like with any organism, it's got a temperature tolerance. So if it's too warm, you may actually get less growth. And same thing if it's too cool. Whatever the doubts about the specific reasons for the huge increase, there's no doubt that it's hitting the livelihoods of hundreds of people and indeed the lives of thousands of animals across the Caribbean region. Paul Ging, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.